What's up everyone? Welcome back to your JavaScript tutorial series. This video we're going to be talking about hoisting. This is going to be the concept video. Pretty simple. And then the next video we're going to go hands on typing out some junk on the computer. So if you're new to hoisting, basically it's the idea that JavaScript is really confusing. But I'm going to try to make it easy. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So let's talk about hoisting and then you'll start to see why I say it makes things confusing. But by the end of this video, you should have a pretty good understanding and you will no longer be confused. So don't you worry. So the very first thing you need to understand is that the two primary ways of creating functions, function declarations and function expressions, these are hoisted differently. And that's the main reason I put hoisting in this series was because that's going to come up. And if you don't understand what you're doing, you're going to get yourself bit in the butt by your code. All right. So now that you understand why I brought hoisting into this, let's just start from the scratch. What is hoisting? So hoisting is the idea that when you have JavaScript code, it's going to be scanned first, and then it's going to be executed second time. So basically we go through the code two times and this happens automatically. We don't actually do it. When you run the JavaScript code, it's going to basically go through the code two times, not once. The first time though, none of your code is actually executed. The only thing that happens the first time are variable declarations. All right, so here's some sample code that'll help you understand this concept. Now, note we're using var. Things are a little bit different with let and const, and you'll see that in the next video. For now, just think in var. And if you guys don't remember the difference, when you use let and const, you're basically creating a block level variable, whereas with var, that's going to be a function level variable. So if you're in the global scope, it's going to be attached to the window object, yada, yada, yada. You can get more info on that if you want. So in this situation, we are console logging X before a value is given to X. So what is going to be outputted in the console? Well, it's actually going to output undefined. So basically what's happening is the first scan of our code, any variable declarations happen. So it goes through here. Oh, and notice is one right here. X. X is then given the value undefined. Now, the second time through our code where our code is actually executed, it goes through, hits this console log, console logs the value of X, and as we know is undefined. Then it goes down here, assigns the value 10 to X. This is important when it comes to function declarations, which look like this. So this is a function declaration, function do stuff, and all it does is console log the word things. With hoisting, all function declarations are hoisted. That includes the code inside of the function. So what that means is if we invoke this function before this code, it's actually going to work. So here we have a call to this function. And now let's talk about how this code's going to be scanned with the hoisting process. First time around is gonna scan. <laughs> you have to make the sound effects by the way, or it doesn't work. And it hits this function declaration. That whole thing is hoisted. So it's basically declared, including this code. Now the second time around, bzzz, oh, it hits this call. Do stuff already exists because it was brought into existence the first time around. So this works and you will get the value things. Now function expressions do not work this way. So if we do a function expression, it's gonna look like this. Then you have some code in here. In this situation, only the variable is hoisted. So the first time through it scans, bzzz, this function's hoisted, including the body. Bzzz, gets down to this function expression and only the variable is hoisted. So var x is given the value undefined. So the actual function body is not hoisted, meaning it doesn't actually exist till we get there in the second scan when we get to this line of code. So this means if up here we try to invoke this like so, we're gonna get an issue because this is currently undefined. Hopefully that makes sense and it probably doesn't, but I tried my best. So what you need to do is you need to check out the next video because that's where we're going to go through an example, which is going to solidify these concepts and make your life a whole lot easier. Mainly when you're working with let and const, things are not gonna be undefined when they're hoisted. 
they're still going to give you errors. And that's the primary difference, error versus undefined. And you'll see what I mean in the next video. So go check it out. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel and peace out.